You know, when the, the certain things, some seven things that affect unhappy people, that create unhappiness within them, that create this inner conflict. Judgment. When people are judgmental, you know, they judge others. They don't listen to them. They don't give them a chance. They judge them. I know him. He doesn't respect me. Okay, can we ask him? No, don't ask him. You've judged him. You don't even want to give him a chance. They can't even give him a chance. No, he does it every time. He does it every month. He does it every year. What if he has changed? No, he can't change. We can give him a chance. And we are. Okay, let me give you the next words. Hatred. You know, hatred is of the flesh. When you hate someone, it's fleshly. And a child of God should not hate anyone. No, 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 I don't hate him. Well, hatred, you know, there are manifestations, there are expressions of hatred. If you're expressing it like this, if it barks like a dog and looks like a dog and eats like a dog, it's a dog. In other words, the expressions matter. You say you don't hate, but you're bringing out all the attributes of hatred. Judgment, hatred, bitterness. How bitter are you? And you know, these things lock within you and make you unhappy. Let me explain something to you. Years ago, in the Bible days, and, and Isaac experienced the same thing. In the Bible days, when, when, when um, an invading force came in to take your land, one of the ways of frustrating you was to stop up your wares. They went to your wares where you got water from. Because water was a kind of a, a spring of life. And so they went to your wares and they stopped up your wares. They put dirt into your wares. Closed up your wares. You see that? They closed up your wares. Now, you realize that in your spirit, you have these wares of living water. You know that? You know that in your spirit are these wells of salvation? You realize that? Now, if Satan wants to ensure that the joy of Christ is not expressed in your life, that the happiness that you should live with, with which you should minister to other people, is not expressed in your life, all he has to do is to use this dirt of judgment and hatred and bitterness to stop up your wells. And you find that you can express yourself happily because you're judgmental. See? It's hatred, bitterness, jealousy. Jealousy. These are those silent, silent treatments that you give to some people. But it's because you're jealous. Nothing she ever does is appealing to you. You even struggle to please her. You even have to struggle. You know? You fight within you. You have to go beyond your resistance to say hello to her. You understand? It's even an act of faith for you to greet her properly. It's a fight within you. You have to now go. Hi, hi. Uh, yeah, your hair is nice. <laughs> but inside you is this bitterness. You resent doing it. You don't like to do it, but you have to do it. <laughs> your hair is nice. <laughs> And then when you finish, like, ah. Oh. I mean, you went through a lot to make that happen. And then she doesn't even appreciate it very much. That bites you. You feel like, Lord Jesus, forgive me. Why is your life like that? The unhappiness is back to you, within you. Why? Why? Jealousy. Jealousy. And you know sometimes the people who are jealous of, the people who are bitter against, don't even know. And they don't even care. And they are so happy with themselves. You know, they don't care about us. 
and that pains because we want them to know we don't like them <laughs> then in your heart when they get into trouble mm, that's good and when God sees that he frees them from trouble <laughs> they come out of trouble and you're not happy about it you're secretly happy when they fail secretly happy when they are rejected secretly happy when they are pained and God sees your heart when you bow your knees to pray and God is telling you pray for him or pray for her you just say it's better for me to keep quiet <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, walk in love. Every day. That's what it is. And that's what you're supposed to do. Don't think about what others think about you or what they say about you. They don't count. They don't matter. One day you're going to stand before Jesus Christ and you will answer for yourself. You will answer for yourself. And they will not be allowed to question you. <laughs> and they will not be allowed to make any comments. It's all about Jesus. Glory to God. So why don't you enjoy your trip of life? Enjoy it. Relish the moment. Enjoy it. Enjoy yourself. What? Enjoy yourself. Enjoy what you look like. Yeah. Enjoy you. Be glad about you. Yeah. If, you don't have to feel like laughing. Just <laughs> Before long, you will laugh more. Say, ha, 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 ha. Woo, glory to God. Hey. Hallelujah. He filled my mouth with laughter. Laughter. Wow. You say, I'm a success. Hiya, ha, ha. They say, have you heard of what they said is raining now? You say, I'm the one. I'm the one. <laughs> Woo! I'm the one. Hallelujah. Say, I'm the one. I'm the one raining. Hallelujah. Have you heard of something that is raining? Say something. It's me. Oh. Yeah, I'm the one. <laughs> I'm the one. I'm raining. I'm raining with the king. Boy, I'm raining with the king. Ay, ay, ay.